With political and military tensions between China and the United States escalating rapidly, the U.S. Navy and Marines are urgently preparing for a potential large-scale conflict in the Pacific Theater. Amid these preparations, DARPA has partnered with industry giants Sikorsky and Northrop Grumman to develop state-of-the-art drones. At the heart of this effort is the Ancillary Program, a revolutionary initiative designed to significantly enhance the warfighting capabilities of the Marines. This program aims to develop a highly advanced Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or VTOL, X-plane, capable of being deployed and retrieved from small flight decks and withstanding the Pacific's most adverse weather conditions, minimizing crew involvement. Designed to address the shortcomings of conventional aircraft, the VTOL-X integrates the ability to take off and land vertically with the speed and range typical of standard planes. The implications are profound. Rapid deployment of troops and equipment, enhanced rescue and disaster response operations, and unprecedented urban mobility solutions. Envision a drone that can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, yet cruise like a fixed-wing plane at high speeds. This groundbreaking innovation promises to revolutionize military operations and transform civilian transportation and logistics. According to Steve Comedina, a program manager at the Tactical Technology Office of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, the Advanced Aircraft Infrastructuralist Launch and Recovery Program, or Ancillary, seeks to, quote, develop and flight demonstrate an X-plane with the critical technologies required for a leap ahead in long endurance vertical takeoff and landing unmanned air system performance. Additionally, this UAS was capable of taking off and landing on ship flight decks and from small, rugged land sites in adverse weather without the need for extra infrastructure, facilitating expeditionary operations. Kamadina pointed out that in contrast to larger VTOL drones and aircraft, this compact UAS would permit the storage and operation of more aircraft on a single ship, thereby improving a tactical beyond-line-of-sight multi-intelligence sensor network capability. With its long history of pioneering advanced technologies, DARPA wants a design that possesses the necessary technologies required to leap ahead in long-endurance VTOL unmanned air system performance while operating from a moving ship at sea. During a press release, Kamadina stated that the goal of the ancillary program is to increase small vertical takeoff and landing uncrewed aerial system capabilities by a factor of three over the current state-of-the-art flying today. He noted that DARPA is currently searching for innovative ways to increase payload weight range and endurance of small ship-launched UAS using novel configurations, propulsion, and controls while removing the need for unique infrastructure. Kamadina highlighted that the Marine Corps and Navy would likely be the primary users of this new technology for Pacific operations. However, he also mentioned that the Coast Guard, Army, Air Force, and Special Operations Command might find these powerful assets valuable. China's increasingly aggressive foreign policy towards its Pacific neighbors, particularly Taiwan, coupled with ongoing tensions between North and South Korea, has prompted a significant response from the U.S. military. In preparation, the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps have intensified their military exercises with allied nations to deter potential attacks. To enhance their readiness, the Marine Corps has made significant changes, such as eliminating its tank units to improve deployability in the Pacific. Additionally, Marine Test and Evaluation Squadron 1, or VMX-1, has been testing new drone capabilities to bolster combat readiness for future high-stakes conflicts. One of the key efforts was the MUX Mail Program, standing for Marine Air Ground Task Force Unmanned Expeditionary Medium Altitude High Endurance. Despite its potential, the program was abandoned due to insufficient endurance for missions like airborne early warning. As a solution, all three USMC Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadrons transitioned to the more capable MQ-9A drone. However, the need for more advanced technology remained. This is where the ancillary program comes in. In June 2023, DARPA invited nine companies to present their initial concepts for the groundbreaking ancillary program. Following rigorous evaluations, the list was refined to six promising firms. These select companies then embarked on a critical 10-month phase to reduce design risks and perform hover tests on their proposed aircraft's key components. Upon completing this phase, they submitted detailed proposals to advance to the next stage, which involves fabrication and comprehensive flight testing. DARPA then announced that formal flight tests of the overall aircraft design are expected to begin in early 2026. Sikorsky and Northrop Grumman have been selected for Phase 1B of Ancillary, with others such as Karam Aircraft, Lados, Method Aeronautics, and others for Phase 1A of the program. Phase 1B of the Ancillary program 
will encompass air vehicle design and system technology maturation. Over 10 months, the selected contractors will increase modeling fidelity, perform critical subsystem testing, and reduce vital technical risks, according to Northrop Grumman. This phase will advance the program closer to constructing a flight demonstrator, with flight tests scheduled to begin in early 2026. The following technologies will enable a future operational UAS that can be deployed and retrieved from Navy ships without the need for extensive mechanical launchers and the landing and recovery equipment used today. Furthermore, the UAS will take off like a helicopter and fly missions like a very efficient winged aircraft while also being able to carry a significant payload when needed. This innovative UAS will have multiple roles, including Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance, or ISR, Logistics, and even Strike Missions. Christopher Harris, Program Manager at Northrop Grumman, stated, quote, Northrop Grumman's expertise in VTOL autonomous systems is built on thousands of flight hours of ship-based operational experience with the U.S. Navy. We pair forward-looking and industry-leading technical capabilities to provide next-generation intelligence-gathering solutions via the ancillary autonomous system. Northrop Grumman's ancillary design incorporates a straight wing with pods at each tip and is equipped with horizontal rotors to enable VTOL flight. A pusher propeller is installed at the rear of the fuselage, complemented by an inverted V-tail. This design is a familiar and effective configuration that is widely adopted in VTOL drones across the globe. The company describes its design as a versatile, multi-mission, cost-effective vehicle built on a nimble platform. It adheres to DARPA's rigorous performance standards, weighs under 330 pounds, and can be deployed and retrieved from virtually any location, including ships, without requiring specialized infrastructure. Additionally, Grumman's ancillary design will also be able to perform surveillance, reconnaissance, intelligence, and targeting operations, employing highly advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques, turning it into the perfect asset for special operations missions or expeditionary operations, as well as ship-to-ship -ship and shorter ship logistical operations. The aircraft will fly a range of around 100 nautical miles for up to 20 hours with a 60-pound payload. The critical potential behind Grumman's ancillary lies in its advanced capabilities in vertical lift aircraft and autonomous systems. Northrop Grumman is drawing on its extensive experience in designing and developing autonomous VTOL systems and highly efficient long-endurance aircraft for the ancillary air vehicle design. This expertise includes the MQ-8 Fire Scout, the Navy's pioneering large-scale sea-based VTOL uncrewed aircraft system for ISRT missions, and the high-altitude long-endurance RQ-4B Global Hawk and MQ-4C Triton both also utilized for ISRT operations. During his closing statements in a press release, Tim Fry, Vice President of the Research and Advanced Design Wing of Northrop Grumman, said, quote, Northrop Grumman is working to significantly enhance how future autonomous vertical lift aircraft will operate at sea and ashore. The ancillary program enables us to combine our digital engineering experience with extensive knowledge and insights from past successes in developing and operating uncrewed vertical lift aircraft for the U.S. Navy. Northrop Grumman's ancillary is designed to take off and land like a quadcopter drone, while Sikorsky's rival design is a VTOL tail sitter. This design also features a long straight wing with twin propellers, but the drone sits on its tail, supported by twin tail fins. After takeoff, it transitions to horizontal forward flight for long endurance missions. During its press release, accompanied by several concept artworks, Sikorsky stated it has already begun conducting flight tests to analyze the control laws and aerodynamics of their unique rotor-blown wing configuration. Igor Sharapinsky, director of the Rapid Prototyping Group, Sikorsky Innovations, stated, quote, Key enablers to flight maneuverability and future vertical scalability are our matrix autonomy flight control system and an articulated rotor system, similar to those in traditional helicopters. Sikorsky engineers will test the battery-powered proof-of-concept vehicle as part of the flight tests. Once this phase is concluded, the company will test a 300-pound hybrid electric version, comprising a 60-pound payload of surveillance and intelligence assets. Grumman's and Sikorsky's VTOL drones will provide the Marines and Navy with state-of-the-art capabilities that will increase the warfighting capabilities of all American and Allied troops stationed in the Pacific. These vehicles will not only be able to operate from small landing areas, but will also be easily deployable and recovered without the need for additional equipment. Furthermore, these vehicles are being made to withstand the adverse and contrasting weather conditions of the Pacific, enhancing their effectiveness and versatility for a wide array of combat operations. For the time being, 
the U.S. military and its allies in the Pacific will continue training with newer technologies in order to be ready to repel any threat to stability in the region. And that technology includes the future designs being developed by Grumman and Sikorsky.